One of the real perks from working on Climbing Daily is I get to go to some pretty cool places around the world and visit some amazing climbing gyms. We're here at Cafe Craft, a gym I've never been to but I've heard a load about. I've got my shoes, got my chalk bag, so I'm gonna go and check it out and see what it's all about. So I'm here to meet Pino, who's very kindly agreed to show me around. Pino? Hi, Matt. Hi, nice to meet you, man. How are you doing? Uh, Cafe Craft Nuremberg. I can't wait to sort of see this place. I've heard loads about it. Um, yeah, can you show me around? Yeah, I will. Let's go. Let's do it. It's quite big, man. I didn't know what I was expecting, because from the outside, it looks fairly small. Yeah, in the beginning, it was just this part of the building. And then in 2013, we built the second part of it, because it was just yeah, crowded and overcrowded and then we decided okay let's have another part of the gym expand and that worked out again just perfect. The features on all these walls are quite cool like you got this 90 degree sort of overhanging thing here yeah. just tell me a bit about them. Yeah, we've also tried to name every artificial wall inside the bouldering gym like the proper walls in the Franken Euro like we have here the uh, Rabenfels or on the other side we have the Ankertal. So you've recreated roots on these walls? We've tried to recreate a little Franken Euro inside a bouldering gym. That's awesome, I like that. Okay cool, show me more, show me more. So we're heading over to a fairly outrageously overhanging wall. Yeah, that's the so-called Waldkopf. As you all know, the Waldkopf in the Franken Jura where Action Direct is. So we try to rebuild the Waldkopf uh, structure in the Cafe Craft. So we subdivided our two parts of the gym. This is the Pignitztal and the other part is the Trubachtal. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so standing underneath it, it is massively overhanging. That's really cool. It is? You want to try it, Matt? I do. You have no idea how much I want to try it. I'm getting like sweaty fingers just looking at the thing. Just take the, the purple ones. They are quite easy and they have big holes. So grab it. Okay, grab it. I'm going to get my shoes. Wait there. <laughs> so this is a nice warm-up route for me, right? So show us what you can. <laughs> Impress us. Impress us. Okay, man. Yeah, it doesn't seem too hard for you. <laughs> Super steep. You're still breathing. Still breathing, just about. Come on. Is that mine, man? The pump? Come on. Should I do it here? All right. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this area we're coming into now. So now we're entering the Trubachtal which is also part of the Franken Jura and also the different sectors and uh, walls are named like the proper real original names of the climbing walls in the Franken Jura and yeah, everything for every kind of climbing we try to reset inside an artificial bouldering gym. And what kind of grades are we looking at here? How hard does it get at Cafe Craft? It's getting for, from 4B for the very beginners and up to 8A, 8B Okay, so we're coming upstairs now. Is what's, what's this area up here all about? Yeah, we have decided we need a second floor when we constructed the, the second part of the, of the gym. So we decided let's have more space for climbing. Instead of just have uh, uh, one floor, we decided to have a second floor and we have a lot of roofs, especially on the other side of this uh, part of the gym. Just follow me and you will see. So we've come into this area around the corner and it's a bit like being in a forest because the sort of green is reflecting off the ceiling. Yeah, that's perfect because you have the feeling you're like you're outside, more or less. Do you have roots that go all the way over the top of this thing? Yeah, we had long traverses too in black colour. Usually we had one built from the very beginning back there to the very end on the opposite side and it's about over 50 holes and pulls. So yeah, you get quite strong after that. So we're in front of the system board here at Cafe Craft. Tell me a little bit about this. Yeah, that's the 45er Magnum. At least that's how uh, Alex baptized it because he really loves it. And he's setting new routes whenever he's here. So every quarter year, he's coming back to reset his own mind-born uh, little new boulders, which are sometimes very hard. Can you show me an Alex Magos problem? Uh, every problem with the, uh, the wooden uh, holds like the Beast Mega holds, he really is into them. So he says they 
need to be a bit um, slippery. That's just perfect. I've never heard anyone want to hold to be slippery before. It's, uh, it's really slippery and really small, just to make it even more difficult for us mere mortals, right? So there's something over here I haven't seen before, actually, which is these... I've seen the pegs that yeah. you can take in and out, but I've never seen sloping yeah, because pegs. The, the point is, um, the pegs are not very climbing specific, so uh, whenever you go to a wall, you climb, you're not climbing like that. I haven't seen that before, so they try to um, yeah, create new kind of packs which are more like climbing holes, proper climbing holes. Come on, man. You need a new one? I set one for you. Come on. We're going to leave that little embarrassment uh, behind us and go downstairs. Around the corner and there's loads of pictures on the wall. What's going on with this? Yeah, that's our wall of fame. So whenever one of the high-end pro athletes is entering Cafe Craft, we are trying to make either an action picture or video or photograph. Doesn't seem to be a space for my picture. Where's that going to go? There will be one. The first thing you notice when you come into the shop is the famous picture behind yeah. us. So can you come and tell me a little bit about that? I want to know the story behind this thing. The idea of Cafe Craft was uh, building a place where climbers come together like these two guys, um, Wolfgang and Kurt, in the former days in the 80s. That's where all the free climbing really took off. And they were just, on one hand, they were opponents. On the other hand, they were friends trying to push each other to the yeah, next level. And that's, that's what we wanted to um, create, an atmosphere where people come together, where they train hard together, where they try to push each other to the next level. Thank you so much for showing me around. It's been an absolute pleasure. I've heard so much about this place. It's nice to see it properly for the first time. I'm going to go and have a climb, and I'm going to come back later and uh, have a beer with you, if that's cool. Let's close with a handshake. Classic. Oh, oh God. OK, like that. <laughs> So I've just been given the full tour of Cafe Craft and that was kind of impressive. Huge training area and massive, massive climbing wall. Love it. Uh, now I've been shown around, I'm gonna, hello. I'm gonna head back inside and have a proper climb. See you soon.